Joe Kowalski with RetainingWallExpert.com. Today I'm going to show you something called a soldier pile wall with timber lagging. Soldier pile walls are I-beams, steel I-beams that are driven into the ground to retain the soil. Soldier pile walls like this one are perfect for sites where you cannot make an excavation into the hillside. At this particular site there's a railroad track above this retaining wall. So you cannot make an excavation for a geogrid wall, you cannot make an excavation for a reinforced cantilever wall, you can't make an excavation for a reinforced soil slope, and the property line is very close to behind this wall. For a soldier pile wall, this vertical steel beam is called the soldier pile. This is the timber lagging. These soldier piles can only extend to about 12 to 18 feet above the ground before the load becomes too great and this retaining wall would begin to tip over and bend the steel, which is why we have to add this. This is called a whale. This steel beam extends between soldier pile to soldier pile and this piece right here is called a tie back. There's a steel anchor that extends back into the ground to hold this whale back and therefore hold the two soldier piles back. Tie back walls can have a variety of lagging. Concrete or timber, pressure treated, not pressure treated. Obviously you get the best results using concrete lagging or pressure treated timber lagging versus not pressure treated wood. Let's say you have a site where the ground surface is about up here and on one side you can't make an excavation because that's somebody else's property and on the other side you want to make an excavation 10 or 15 feet down. A soldier pile wall is an excellent option. It's called top-down construction. The first thing you do is you drill a hole and you install a steel beam into the ground. Next, you begin excavating the soil vertically downward in front of the face of this I-beam. As you excavate, you install pieces of timber lagging. When we get down to a certain depth, we install a whaler to tie the wall back. Then we continue our excavation and we install pavement, curbing, whatever we need. At that point, construction's done.